Hey everybody, thanks for joining me, Dr. JJ Levine, coming to you live from Asante Organics Corporate. Today I would love to talk with you and share with you a concept called build your business always and in all ways. And what that means is sometimes people will come to me, in fact I just had this today, hey Dr. Levine, for network marketing is it better to build online, offline, should I use a lead capture page, should I not use a lead capture page? And my answer to that is do all of it because you never know where that next nibble or that big prospect's going to come in. You know what, I'm gonna put my glasses on. I know this is live, forgive me, but oh, it's just saying I've got a low battery, so we're gonna to try to make this quick. It's been a busy day. So that being said, um, when I stopped being a distributor over six years ago, lead capture pages were just then coming in. So if you've got a good lead capture page, you absolutely do it. The analogy I'd like to give you is imagine your life depends upon you catching fish. You're in a boat. You're in a little you know, fisher boat, fisherman's boat, and, and it's just you in the, in the boat. And you're going to either live or die. You'll be successful or not by catching fish. Well, if you've got one line in the water, one line, one fishing rod, how many fish can you catch at a time? Best case scenario. One. Exactly. So if you're in that boat, I would submit to you, it'd be great to have five, 10, 15 lines all in the water at the same time, and you can catch more fish. And then all the fish that you're catching when you're talking about business, they're all gonna go into the same funnel. So if I was a distributor today, I would be doing what I'm doing right now. I would be putting out a video every single week, minimum one a week. You never know how far reaching what you think, say, or video, or do today how people respond to it a month from now, six months from now, a year from now. I've seen people in network marketing companies that kind of check out, that haven't been active for six months or more, but yet a video they did two years ago is still bringing in leads and even enrollments for them in their business. So something free with social media today, where everybody's got a smartphone or most people do, I'd be putting out a video every single week. And again, I'm not saying it would have to be necessarily on your company or on the product. You're going to want to have those too. Do something about the industry sometimes. Do something about positivity sometimes. Do it about testimonials. Do sometimes on products, sometimes on your opportunity, your compensation. But change it up. Keep content out there. And then when you have those videos, post it on all your social media platforms, not just Facebook, but maybe your LinkedIn page, your Twitter page, things of that nature. Keep the content out there in many places. Again, more lures. I would never forget the old school stuff because people are people. The People don't change that much. And belly to belly uh, marketing still works. So don't be afraid to talk to people that are three feet away from you. You know, the three foot rule. I would still be meeting with people at at coffee places and things like that to show them the opportunity. We've got some new technology now with webinars. It's actually quite not new now. It's getting old, but I would be doing webinars all the time. So I would do a blend of the old and the new. And ultimately what it comes down to is this. No matter what business you're in, no matter what company you're in, if it's sales oriented in some way, shape, or form, if you're not happy with the amount of income you're coming that's coming into you, Here's the barometer. I want you to just take your day planner out, that's old school, or your smartphone that has the calendar, and I want you to look at it. I want you to look at it honestly, and I want you to see how many things you've done in the past month for your business that are right there on the calendar, and two, for the next month, what do you have planned? How many three-way calls do you have planned? Not only three-way calls for your prospects with your upline, how many three-way calls do you have for your downline that you're doing for them? How many one-on-one -on -one meetings do you have? How many big meetings do you have? How many webinars do you have? How about videos that are in there? Are you in networking groups where you can once a week get together with a group and you can talk about your opportunity, your products, the problem that most people have, and the solution, and so on and so forth. If that calendar, that day planner is not filled, well then you could be probably getting well compensated for the lack of activity that you're doing. So only you can answer that. You've got to have a realistic look at your calendar and see how filled it is. So build your business always and in all ways. Fill up that calendar. Keep the content coming out. And never, ever, ever, ever quit. Because whether you know it or not, the people that are in your social media, the people are even outside of your social media friends, they're watching you. 
They want to see if you're going to falter. They want to see if you're going to quit. They're going to want to see if you have a bad day. And we all have bad days, but you want to keep on sharing the wins that you have, whether they're small wins, big wins, keep sharing them, keep uh, promoting, and never, ever, ever, ever quit. And when you find a good company, like a company like ours that has organic and toxic-free everyday products that everybody needs with a truly unlimited comp plan, <clears throat> never, never quit. Never jump. Stick with it. Keep doing it. And the... Uh, your workload is going to get easier and easier and easier. So with that, I know it was a little verbose today, and sorry about the kind of technical difficulty with the battery running out, but I look forward to sharing again with you real soon. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.